Okay. So by using Descartes' rule of signs, what it says is, if I take f of x, I need to determine the variations of the sign of the coefficients. So what I look is I have a negative 5x to a positive x, right, or to a positive x squared. So is that a variation of a sign? Yes. Then I go from my positive again to a negative. Then a negative, positive to a negative to a positive. So you can see I have three variations in my sign, correct? So therefore, I have a possible of three positive real zeros. Now remember, this is only talking about real zeros, all right? Real zeros, not imaginary, real. So therefore, I have three positive real zeros, or minus that by an even integer, or 1. So you take 3 and then subtract 2, which would be your even integer, 1. Or it could be, if you have multiple, it could keep on going down. So let's say you had 6, it could be 6, 4, 2, or 0. All right. So I have either 3 positive real zeros or 1 positive real zero. All right. So you take the number of variations and then subtract it by your even integer. Now, that's for, that's for real zeros. If you guys look at this, f of x equals x cubed, my linear factors, how many possible zeros do I have, real and complex? Three. So is it possible for all, po all my zeros to be positive? Yes, right? Well, let's look at what about the negative. Are there any negative real zeros? So to do that, you're going to do the same test, but you're going to test it for f of negative x. So remember, this is the evaluation tool. So you do negative 5, you plug in negative x, So all I do is instead of using x, I plug in negative x. Negative x raised to an odd power is still going to give me negative x. Um, then times a negative 5 is going to give me a positive 5x cubed. Negative x squared and negative x raised to an even power, which is going to give me now a positive x squared. Negative times a negative will be a positive x, positive 5. Do you guys see any variation in sign? No. no. So is there any negative real zeros? No. So guess what? All my zeros are going to be positive. So here's why it's helpful. If you're going to be doing synthetic division, right? Synthetic division. And let's say you don't have a graphing calculator. And you had to do synthetic division. By using the rational zero test, you had to do p over q, right? So you're going to do plus or minus 5 over 5, plus or minus 5 over 1, plus or minus 1 over 5, plus or minus 1 over 1, which is again is 1. Are you going to have to test any negative numbers? No, they're all going to be positive, right? So there you go. It's another just tool or helpful, um, yeah, helpful you know, process to help you identify the possible or the real zeros if they're positive or negative. OK? That's really about it. That's all you guys have to do. So you will have a question on your test, though, that is just going to say, hey,